and a special thanks and shout out to Community Ford of Mooresville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we're going to take an in-depth walk around look at this 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. And this FJ Cruiser is painted in voodoo blue, features the white roof. Interior is an aftermarket supplied charcoal leather, features blue leather inserts to match the exterior. And this FJ Cruiser is four wheel drive, it does feature the shift on the fly part time four wheel drive system with the VF2A transfer case. It is equipped with a 4 liter 1GR FE dual overhead cam 24 valve variable valve timing V6 engine. It creates 293 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 278 pound feet of torque at 3,700 RPM. It is good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 7.8 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 24.3 seconds. Quarter mile is 15.8 seconds at 87 miles per hour and top speed is electronically limited to 111 miles per hour. It is mated to the optional 5-speed A750F automatic transmission. The Toyota FJ Cruiser is a retro-styled mid-sized SUV that was first introduced as a concept vehicle painted in the iconic Voodoo Blue at the 2003 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. After much positive response from consumers, the FJ was approved for production and was officially unveiled at the 2005 North American International Auto Show. The exterior of the FJ is highlighted by the short off-road friendly wheelbase with short front and rear overhangs and body on frame construction. The rear features silver accented bumper covers, an optional TRD exhaust tip finisher, and boldly styled tail lamps. The full size spare tire is encased in a large plastic FJ wheel cover with reproduced tire tread patterns. At 189.9 inches, the FJ Cruiser features a ground clearance of 9.6 inches and highly capable off-road abilities with the front and rear suspension travel of 8 and 9 inches respectively. Off-road specs for the FJ Cruiser are a 34 degree approach angle, 30 degree departure angle, and a 27.4 degree breakover angle. The FJ can ford up to 27.5 inches of water and features a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Wheels are 17 inch aluminum with P265 70R17 tires and features four wheel disc brakes with ABS, stability control, and traction control. The brakes will stop the FJ at 190 feet from 70 miles per hour. 
Around the front, the FJ highlights the design of the original FJ40 with the circular headlamps mounted inwards with the satin silver grill surround and the absence of the Toyota logo, instead featuring the, featuring the word Toyota spelled out as the original had. Other throwback design cues are the nearly vertical wide windscreen with the three windshield wipers and satin silver side view mirrors with integrated driving lights. Rear doors are small rearward opening access doors with a frameless design utilizing high strength steel for enhanced side impact protection. Alright, we're going to take a look inside. And this vehicle does feature nice wide opening doors. You've also got aftermarket running boards. And this FJ Cruiser does have the interior upgrade kit, which features the body color interior accents. We've also got power heated mirrors, power windows, and power door locks, as well as an 8 speaker audio system. The previous owners installed cat skin leather interior, which does feature the blue accents as well as accent stitching. The driver's side seat is high adjustable. All seats are manually adjust. On the interior, on the dash panel, you have your dimmer switch as well as your mirror control and a leather wrap tilt steering wheel. Overhead, you do have a large aftermarket sunroof. And pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Nice fluid steering. And the steering wheel does feature satin silver accents with audio controls on the left hand side. And on the lower right hand side you do have your cruise controls. Large clear easy to read gauges features a 7000 RPM TAC, 120 mile per hour speedometer with digital odometer. You've also got a fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and voltmeter. A nice feature due to the wide and flat dashboard. You do have a driver's side storage bin on top. It's pretty nice and deep. You've also got the three gauge pod with illuminated compass, exterior temperature display, and inclinometer. In between the two air vents, you have a digital clock. You've also got the upgraded AM FM six disc CD changer radio face. Large, easy to use temperature controls and various switches for your differential locks, your A-Track system, and your subwoofer power, as well as your parking sensors. You have a power point auxiliary input jack, large cup holders, overhead you do have a manually dimming mirror, power sunroof controls, Overhead sun visors do feature non-illuminated vanity mirrors. The sun visors do swivel out, but they do not extend. And you also have overhead assist handles. All right, to access the rear seats, first thing you need to do is locate and open the rear access door. The handle is inset a little bit, so you have to kind of search for it, but it's there. And of course the rear seat does seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with high adjustable head restraints on the on all passenger seating areas. There is no fold down center armrest in this vehicle. The cat skin leather continues with the blue accents. And you've also got neoprene floor mats, large storage bins, and seat back mat pockets. Molded door panel holders for bottles and storage. And folding the seat is easy, just locating the left the tethers and pulling the seat base forward. And then at the top of the seat there's a little button, just press it and the seat back will come forward.
The luggage area is accessed via the large, wide-opening rear door with hinge locks and a storage net. It is lined in heavy-duty hose-out plastic and features a reversible neoprene mat with carpet on the other side. This model has the optional subwoofer mounted and also has a 115-volt, 400-watt household-style AC outlet. The plug is grounded and can accommodate a variety of tools or accessories. On the left side wheelhouse, a storage area contains a jack and tools. Cargo capacity is 27.9 cubic feet, which expands to 66.8 cubic feet with the rear seats folded. A minor inconvenience is that the rear seats cannot be folded from the luggage area. They can only be folded from the passenger compartment. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.